1991 January was the last time they won a playoff game. I just want to go back to 1991 and give you some of the greatest hits from 91. Number one song at that time, Madonna, Justify My Love. A Gallon of Gas was $1.14. The number one movie at the box office, want to give it a guess, Brockman or Rich, anyone? Um, Dances with Wolves. Home Alone. Okay. <laughs> George Bush was president. Andy Dalton was three years old at the time, and our next guest, only four months old. Tyler Eifert, born on uh, September 8th, 1990. So Tyler Eifert clearly would remember that last playoff victory. No chance. He's here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Tyler? Good. How are you? I am doing just fine. So um, let's let's talk about the here and now with you, sir. How is that ankle of yours? Uh, it's doing great. I've been I've been rehabbing it. I've been out of the boot for a couple of weeks now, and uh, getting a lot of work in out on the rehab field, trying to get back into shape and um, do everything I can to get back. But it, it, it feels really good right now. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, you know, you heard it in the in the Pro Bowl. And then at what point did you realize it might be more hurt than than you you feared in Hawaii, Tyler? Uh, well, we we knew what was wrong, and uh, the injury I had it, it's supposed to just scar in and it, it, and be fine. But for whatever reason, mine didn't, and there was some looseness in the joint, so uh, that can cause some problems. And and so uh, it was just a matter of figuring out if it was just soreness from the injury or if something else was going on. So once we once we kind of narrowed that down, we. You know, the, the the only option was to have surgery and get it fixed. So do you think there's a shot you can play week one against the Jets right now, Tyler? I'm trying. Uh, I mean, it feels good uh, moving around, starting to – I'll start running next week, I think, and uh, we'll see. But um, I'm doing everything I can, and so far it's, it's progressing really well. Well, Tyler I for joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. Um, what's Andy Dalton's mindset? right now last year at this time he was coming off of getting booed at a uh, at a softball celebrity uh, softball game at the MLB all-star game in Cincinnati and then he went and balled out what's what can you tell me about your QB right now Tyler yeah I think you know Andy's he's looking as good as as I've ever seen and it's it's kind of nice just to or not nice but I'm watching it from a different perspective just watching practice and um, instead of being out there running around, you can you could see everything going on, and you know he's just he's been on the money with the ball, and uh, he's he's knows this offense so well now that um, you know he's making checks and all those types of things. So he's he's you know he's doing fine, and he's going to keep playing well like he has the past couple of years. So with uh, Marvin Jones and Mohamed Sanu no longer in the mix, who who should I look for to step up? Who are you seeing right now? And training camp and uh, what we will see tomorrow night in the preseason game to step in on those roles. Yeah. Tyler Boyd has been, he's been playing great. He's, you know, obviously a young guy, but uh, he, he knows his plays. He's been making a lot of, a lot of big plays in, in training camp. And I think it'll be fun to see him out there playing, playing uh, real football tomorrow. And uh, as the season progresses, and uh, in terms of uh, you last year, the number of touchdowns you grabbed, 13. You led all tight ends in that department, Tyler. What what clicked for you last year more that so than in previous years? Uh, I think it was probably a combination of things. I was I was healthy. Um, well, I was coming off injuries, but I, I stayed healthy most of the year. And uh, also a combination of being in that system for my third year and understanding the offense and having that extra time to, to work with Andy and, and kind of get that chemistry or trust factor or whatever you want to call it down with him so that he has, you know, he, he trusts me to get open. And when I'm not open, he can put it in a spot where um, he trusts that I can go make a play. So it's probably, probably just a combination of things. And, and, you know, I think we had this conversation last year and also also had it with Andy that that no matter what you guys do in the regular season, that's just one thing. It really all comes down to what happens in January. How do you guys deal with that pressure and or conversation that I'm sure you hear all the time? Yeah, it's tough. I, I wouldn't say the pressure is the, the tough part, but just making the playoffs is is uh, is, a, is pretty tough to do in itself. And, you know, we understand how hard that is. But then you also, you got to have that, you know, kind of burning desire, that uh, bad taste in your mouth from, 
you know, the previous five seasons and never forget how you felt walking off the field without, without that playoff win. But then you also have to move forward and not, not really think about it, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, it's kind of a, kind of a tough thing to balance, but you, you have to move on and, yeah, uh, just use it as motivation for the, the next season. How's Perfect handling the three game sit down? I mean, it's Jets, Steelers, Broncos that he's going to miss in that game. Tyler, how's how's he handling everything right now? Uh, I mean, he's he's doing fine. He's out there practicing, and you know, it, it's kind of a hard situation. You're practicing, and then you're then you're not going to play the first three games. But he seems to be doing fine. Obviously, there's nothing he can do about it now. Um, so you just. You just accept it, and we we wish he was going to be out there for those three games. He's captain of that defense and and uh, always making plays. But you know, there's only so much you can do, and he, he's he's handling it just fine. All right, Tyler. Thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it, and we'll chat down the road. Get back on the field as soon as you can. Sounds good. Thank you. You, you bet. That's Tyler Eifert here. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.